An ectopic pregnancy is defined as the implantation of a pregnancy outside the normal uterine cavity. More than 98% of ectopic pregnancies are implanted in the fallopian tube. Rarely, they can implant in the interstitium of the fallopian tube, ovary, cervix, abdominal cavity, or in a caesarean section scar. Unfortunately, an ectopic pregnancy is not viable and should be removed either medically or surgically. Ectopic pregnancies commonly occur between the 4th and 12th weeks of pregnancy. Most patients with an ectopic pregnancy present with abdominal pain and associated vaginal bleeding in early pregnancy. If the ectopic pregnancy has ruptured, patients may present with signs of acute abdomen. Free blood in the peritoneal cavity can irritate the diaphragm and cause shoulder tip pain. They also have a severe sharp abdominal pain. Due to massive bleeding, they also have signs of hypovolemic shock, including dizziness, faintishness, and a low blood pressure. Ruptured ectopic pregnancy is a serious condition and requires immediate surgical intervention. Causes for ectopic pregnancy include fallopian tube damage due to pelvic infection, previous ectopic pregnancy, and previous tubal surgery, and functional alterations in the fallopian tubes due to advanced maternal age and smoking. Other risk factors include previous abdominal surgery, such as appendicectomy and caesarean section, subfertility, in vitro fertilization, use of intrauterine contraceptive devices, endometriosis, and conception while on oral contraceptive pills. Ectopic pregnancy can be managed using an expectant, medical, or surgical approach, depending on the signs and symptoms and patient preference. Expectant management is indicated for patients who are hemodynamically stable and asymptomatic. These patients require serial HCG measurements until the levels are extremely low. Medical treatment is indicated for individuals with minimal symptoms. This includes intramuscular methotrexate injections. After methotrexate treatment, serum HCG levels should be measured routinely. Contraindications for medical treatment include chronic liver disease, kidney disease, hematological disorders, ongoing infection, immunodeficiency, and breastfeeding. Finally, patients with severe symptoms and ruptured ectopic pregnancy should receive surgical care. The most common surgical approach is laparoscopy. Laparotomy is reserved for severely compromised patients.